This video is brought to you by Random Thoughts in Philosophy, which is one of the books written and published by Professor Frank Chu and which is available on Amazon. Before we get started with this video, let me read you a sentence. Forbid it, Almighty God. I know not what course others may take, but as for me, give me liberty or give me death. Do you remember who said this tremendously famous sentence? Hello, welcome to another video on philosophy. If you are new to this channel, my name is Frank Chu, and I'm a college professor teaching sociology, history, and philosophy. I'm also an award-winning landscape photographer. Today, let's talk about one important concept in philosophy, that is liberty, or if you like, freedom. Strictly speaking, of course, the word liberty is different from the word freedom. Liberty emphasizes the limitations of government power over individual rights, whereas a freedom focuses on individual abilities to pursue their own interests. However, these two words are often used interchangeably by many people in our daily lives. And for the sake of simplicity in our discussion in today's video, we will use both of them to refer to the same thing, that is, the right to do as you please. The sentence that I read to you at the beginning was said by Patrick Henry, who was a leader of the American Revolution. In 1775, on the eve of the American Independence War, many American colonists were still debating if they should wage a war against Britain in order to gain freedom, because Britain was still considered as the mother country by many people. But Patrick Henry declared, Give me liberty or give me death. At the time, those high-sounding words were tremendously popular and inspired many people to take up arms and fight for independence. It is no exaggeration to say that Patrick Henry's declaration played a crucial role in the American Revolution. Ever since then, this sentence has been quoted by many people but mostly for another purpose, that is, to prove the claim that freedom is even more valuable than life. As I said earlier, freedom means the right to do as you please, that is, the right to speak, move about, get together, worship or not worship, think, believe, etc. Just like Patrick Henry, most people believe that freedom is good because it gives them choices and an equal opportunity in their pursuit of happiness. Throughout history, people have fought for it and many have died for it. However, there are also many people who believe that freedom is not without its limitations. You can only have such an extent of freedom when your choices don't clash with another person's choices, or when your freedom to act doesn't infringe upon another person's freedom. That's why all societies, however free they are, have laws and rules to guide and regulate people's actions so that no one's freedom will infringe upon others' freedom. For example, you don't have the right to shout fire in a crowded theater or shout I have a gun on a flying passenger airplane. Not only is freedom limited, it is not always a good thing to everybody and not everybody will enjoy freedom all the time. Suppose you just got fired by your boss because you insisted on your freedom to play games at work, and your boss said to you, Now you are free to do whatever you want. 
If this is the freedom you have been looking for, what is so good about it? Can you play games when you don't have an income and can't even feed yourself? Furthermore, suppose you are left alone on a desert island where there is absolutely no one around, and you are free from any demand or control, and you are totally free to do anything you want. Can you do everything you want to do? Would you enjoy this freedom? Therefore, it is important to look at the two sides of freedom: freedom from and freedom to. The former is known as negative freedom in philosophy, whereas the latter is known as positive freedom. Negative freedom is freedom from any external interference, which prevents you from doing what you choose to do. Positive freedom, on the other hand, is freedom to do what you want to, and you can control your own life. One side of freedom should never be considered in isolation of the other. When you are free from something, which may or may not be good, don't forget. The other side of freedom. That is, do you have the freedom to do something? When you are free from your boss, will you be able to play games all the time without a paycheck? When you are alone with total freedom on an island, are you really free to do anything you want? Can you play a game and enjoy it, or share your enjoyment with someone when you win the game on this island? How good is such kind of freedom? Finally, even when you think you have freedom and you think you enjoy it, it may not be real freedom. It may be only an illusion. For example, you take a shower every morning. You think that taking a shower is your free choice because nobody or nothing forces you to take a shower every morning. Is that true? Would you take a shower every morning if you don't have a job to go to every day, or if you are staying at a hotel where there is no running water? Would you have the free choice to take a shower? It is just not true that you can freely. Choose what to do. Well, that is all that I wanted to talk about today. But before I go, I want to mention something interesting about Patrick Henry's liberty speech, which was made to the Virginia Assembly in 1775. This huge, eloquent speech was delivered without notes. And Patrick Henry himself never bothered to write it down. It was only 18 years after he died that the speech was transcribed and published. Since then, Patrick Henry has been considered as one of the greatest orators in American history. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.